What's up, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR, and this is my review for the Dell Alienware 34 inch curved quantum dot OLED gaming monitor. The first part of my review will be a quick summary of the monitor specs and my experience with it. The rest of the review will be off screen and direct recorded gameplay of some of the best games that have ultra wide support. Timestamps are available, so feel free to jump around to view any game or any part of the review that you're interested in. This review will not be super technical because there are plenty of other reviews that have already done that. This review is to give you the best feeling of what it's like to play on an ultra wide. If you would like a technical in-depth review with benchmarks and tests, please watch Hardware Unboxed Review. I have provided a link in the description so let's start with basic specs and info. So as I've already stated, this is a 34 inch ultra wide curved OLED. It retails for $1,299. It has quantum dot technology. It supports Nvidia G-Sync Ultimate and brags a one millisecond response time. The native resolution is 3440 by 1440. And of course the 21 by nine aspect ratio, which makes it ultra wide. The refresh rate goes up to 175 Hertz through display port and caps at about hundred Hertz through HDMI. It supports HDR true black 400 or goes as high as a thousand nits peak brightness. It has an 178 degree viewing angle, both horizontal and vertical. It weighs about 15 pounds and has 110 pixels per inch. It includes a three year warranty that protects against burning since this is an OLED and it has two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display port and several other USB 5 ports. The monitor is very sleek and stylish and has excellent build quality. The stand has built in cable management and is strong enough to keep the monitor from wobbling much if your desk shakes. It has good ergonomics and that makes it easy to adjust as needed. The joystick at the bottom center of the monitor makes navigating the OSD smooth and intuitive. The monitor has near perfect black levels and looks great in dark rooms. The low input lag, high refresh rate and incredible motion handling makes this one of the top displays to game on currently. This is my first time gaming on an ultra wide monitor. And before I purchased it, I did have a few concerns. The ability to multitask and manage multiple functions while streaming was obviously very important to me. Now I come from a two monitor setup, but I wanted this monitor to be my only monitor that I, that I was really using. Now, unfortunately, this monitor does not have PBP, which is picture by picture. Picture by picture allows you to connect two different sources and then split screen them on the monitor. Now it's most likely it doesn't have this feature because 34 inches uh, is probably too small to support this. If you look up the bigger ultra wide monitors, they usually have this feature, I believe. For example, you can, can connect your PlayStation or Nintendo Switch and put it on the left side of the screen and you could have your PC windows uh, running on the right side of the screen. So even though that feature is not present here, there is still enough real estate on the screen and apps such as Microsoft Power Toys that allows and supports multitasking. So with Power Toys, for example, you can set regions on the screen. It could be three different regions and you could snap windows to that part of the region. You obviously can't connect two different sources such as a Nintendo Switch or another console and have them split screen, but anything actually running on windows you can section them off. I did feel like I needed a second display for all the tasks I do, but instead of getting a full size monitor, I opted to get a 15 inch portable monitor and that pretty much fixed all of the concerns I had. The monitor does not have any HDMI 2.1 ports, so anybody that plays on console and feels that having that uh, ability to play at 120 hertz is very important to them, that might be a deal breaker for you. It wasn't for me because any game that I'm gonna wanna play at 120 Hertz, I'm just gonna play it on PC. My other two concerns with going to my first ultra wide was going from 4K to 1440p and the black bars on the side of the monitor for unsupported games. Now, the first thing regarding 4K to 1440p, I have played on a 1440p monitor before, but once you upgrade and go to and play at a higher resolution, it can be sometimes hard to go back. 
1440p is obviously a softer image and it's noticeable, but it is not a deal breaking difference and games still look amazing. As far as the black bars, I played games um, on my Nintendo Switch and PlayStation on this OLED and after a short time, you don't even notice that the black bars are there. So that quelled my concerns regarding that too. Playing games on a curved ultra wide really adds a level of immersion and engagement that's hard to put in words. It adds another dimension to gaming you never really knew was missing until you experience it yourself. I recommend everyone does. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and please enjoy the rest of the video with the game demonstrations.
find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. I'll cross the tower with flame and sword. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So good. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Oh, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! Please. Please don't do this. It was me! It was all me! Please! Please! No. Please! What are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Bitch. Wait. Uh, it's him. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys.
fight your way out of here. The air ducts lead to another sector. God, your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. Acceleration while in the air. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Initiating the sensory boost. Focus. Dawn and go for the kill. Well done. But you won't last long in this state. You have to get me out of prison so I can get your software in order. I'm being held outside this dome zone.
Light means trouble. about I don't have time to explain you gotta get out of there right now all right let me grab my
lose that thing. You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. <sighs> this all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Yeah. Uh, sound. I had, um, Let's 
Huh? Hold on. I was recording this and I, I couldn't turn the sound down, so I closed it.